Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be uh, we'll be watching God damn, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, today we'll be watching Akudama. I'm saying it right, yes, Akudama Drive, episode 8. Alright guys, so last episode was pretty crazy. We finally found out like how these kids were actually originated, like how they were actually even how they're even there. I, I even made a theorize around like a while ago saying that these guys were probably experimented which is kind of right you know what I'm saying which is not bad to be honest so yeah they were kind of experimented and all those lives lost in the other children was like pretty much to make sh make them immortal and all that so that's kind of crazy you know what I'm saying and uh, obviously we know that they were kind of being delivered being delivered to Kanto right they were like taking them to Kanto so I don't know Kanto uh, I'm just like it's more and more in my brain I'm like what is Kanto like what is this place and all that you know what I'm saying and it's kind of crazy like all the executioners are working for these guys despite them not even knowing how they look like or what they look like you know what I'm saying but maybe they do know but even if they don't that's just kind of more suspicious why you're working for somebody that you don't even know you know what I'm saying it's kind of crazy our dog betrayed us around the end oh my god that was just so crazy I was like yo but like she said, she was just trying to, she she negotiated with the executioner leader, right? So saying that like once she does hand her the kids, that she will remove her as a Akudama, I guess, right? So like, I guess she kind of playing it on her own way, but like still, you know what I'm saying? Betraying us, you know, come on, doc, I thought, I thought we were good, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so that was kind of crazy. And the craziest thing is, so the dude, the little kid managed to actually put uh, his sister and the girl in the rocket and they gone so i don't know where they're going to be honest with you so that was kind of crazy i have no idea they did say they're going to the moon but um, are they really though maybe they are because the half of the moon is actually destroyed and but that would that be saying let's go ahead and check this episode out let's go okay guys so seems like we actually are going to moon uh i think are we yes we are or okay fuel empty okay well i kind of thought about something like this could happen <laughs> <laughs> we're falling back down yeah well this is great why do i have a feeling that they're actually gonna end up in kanto is it just me all that work and we were not really able to fly to the moon at all so that's sad to be honest how can you guys even escape emergency release okay let's go let's go. okay at least we are safe you know open seas okay okay she's fine inside there okay that's good yes I'm pretty sure she'll be fine, to be honest with you, because even they do get injured, they get healed, right? Oh, she is actually kind of stuck in a pretty crazy situation. I don't think she can actually lift her out of there. Yeah, and she's constantly... Yeah, that's kind of crazy, you know, despite she being like that and still able to say, like, I'm fine. Okay, okay, we're doing some work out here. Okay, yo, all right. And she here like that. That's pretty crazy, you know. You see this is what I'm talking about. She don't even know what how they look like. They're just working for these masked looking dudes. Actually good to everybody. <laughs> yeah, try if you can, you fools. Yo, okay. Yo, okay. I see. I mean, I'm just surprised that she been working with these dudes, you know, I guess I get it, they're the leader, but like, they don't even know their goddamn face. Don't age at all, that's crazy, yo. <laughs> extra, <laughs> there's always out there who's like taking an extra long break. So, since that we out there betraying these guys, oh, that's quite a way to die, oh god, I'm sorry, bro. I mean, he's getting the view, but still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All that work for taking her out of the Akudama list and she going back on the Akudama list for sure, right? After she's done that. Okay, seems that we are actually kind of close to Kansai. I was kind of expecting them to be pretty far, but no. We got our girl Toka out here, by the way, y'all. New partner. She's the same pie now, by the way. <laughs> okay, Toka, I see you, girl. You know you ain't doing shit without you. Ooh. Yo, okay. So she... Goddamn, bro, okay. Okay, we are back. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of people around, so, but still, you know. Anybody who... 
Executioner sees us, then we're pretty much GG. This is the same shop, right? I mean, I think it is, but I might be wrong. <laughs> S rank criminal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sad life. Run. Oh. Okay, sad life. Now she's an official Akudama, yeah. You know, she was not a Akudama, but. Uh, <laughs> S rank. <laughs> we S rank out here. Run. <laughs> Sound like my bro's running too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, he worth a lot right now, you know? <laughs> so everybody gonna be after his ass. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at me, bro. <laughs> hey, really, what is it? <laughs> I mean, all of you guys are on the... Oh, really? I guess she is out of the Akudama list. Oh, God. But... I, yo, are you kidding me right now, right? But I'm surprised, like, do they still don't know, like, she already killed, like, some of the doctors or scientists? You know what I'm saying? Well, he definitely is lying, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe he does. Okay. Yo, okay. Well, he's pretty smart, I guess. Goddamn, okay. <laughs> I think I'll... Oh! Yo, chill, doc. Oh, God. Just looking at it is hurting myself right now. Goddamn, she could actually tell, huh? She knows everything, yo. Yeah, okay. You hear about the real, real man, yo. <laughs> I'm just at least we are clean i mean he's outside he knows everywhere oh that's the thing from the kid right well at least hope so okay we hungry <laughs> despite you having so much money you can't buy anything that is quite sad <laughs> she's so cute she's just copying everything you know She's actually kidding, you know, saying, but what can I say, man? Been experimented and all that. It's just too sad for these guys. Okay, we could be getting something, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's cool. I ain't even gonna lie. Her eyes, this is just exactly the same as theirs. Like, no joke, but I really won't be surprised. Oh, she, she about to cut her own hair? Or I think she... She cut her hair. Okay. I mean, she look... She look a lot different, okay? But, I mean, she look like a dude right now, but it's okay. You know, she decided to cut her hair. So, that's alright. I respect her for doing that. At least that way, like, she kind of be, like... Not really recognizable. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a very difficult mission. I ain't gonna lie. Oh man, it's obviously there's some people living here. Okay, well that's great. Well, G fucking G now. What's up with all this blood in all this area, bro? Yo, this dude. Okay. What the fuck is going on with these guys? What are these guys doing? Sell her. They want to sell. Okay, these bastards. Yeah, well, do you see all this blood, guys? That's what I was actually about to say. Too old. <laughs> these dudes, bro. Are you dealing with the S rank criminal right now, bro? You don't. You better not fuck with us right now. I'm telling you right now, man. Yo, these dudes, bro. Okay, well, fuck this. We came in the wrong place. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yo, we actually fighting right now. That's the first kill we got. Yo, check for yourself. Okay, well, I mean, we are in a pretty bad situation right now. I don't know how we actually going to be saved and all that, but. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, this dude is crazy. Come on, we got something. Okay, let's go. Yo, that's right. That's my girl right now. Y'all ain't messing with it. Come on, let's go. Run. Oh. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah, I didn't realize this dude was still at the back, yo. Yo, oh, shit, we are actually doing it right now. Oh my god, we pulled it off. I'm surprised. Oh, this motherfucker is still alive. Oh, hell no. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. I was kind of expecting he would be here, but I don't know. I kind of knew at the back, you know what I'm saying? Only person that could actually come and save her was the, him. Definitely. But, like, I I was really impressed for her to actually holding her herself like that. And obviously the little girl, too. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. Oh, to deliver this. Man still in his work, I see. So, you know, he ain't gonna... Oh, deliver it to the sister. Okay, so... And his job's gonna be finished, I guess. Because I thought he picked it up. So he was gonna give it back to the dude, but no. Ooh, she's willing to... <laughs> I mean... Exactly, he's got a billion, you know what I'm saying, but... Okay, okay, he actually did decided to do it. Okay, well, this is kind of crazy. I wasn't really expecting him to do it, but I'm surprised. All right. All right, guys, this episode was pretty crazy. So, <laughs> like, I kind of I kind of thought about it, okay, around the end when they actually flew off in the rocket. I was like, mm, are they really going to the moon? You know what I'm saying? But, like, obviously, well, they, you know, they couldn't because one thing there was no fuel enough even if they did had a fuel maybe because their line was to the moon i guess right but like obviously so they couldn't really do it so all that work that we actually did until then to you know get the kids to the place and all that thing happened with the dog and still managed to actually at least put his sister and the girl to go to the moon but still didn't work out so sadly the rocket plan failed miserably they failed. I thought I actually thought for a while like they actually ended up in Kanto, but no, thankfully, right? Because, I mean, you wouldn't really know what would happen if they actually end up in Kanto. We don't really know anything about Kanto yet anyway. So, yeah, and they fail. So, it's kind of crazy. Like, we're actually seeing the character development on the Our Sandler, you know, the girl, lady. Uh, I mean, she's also one of the ass rank Akadama now, by the way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's kind of crazy. We're actually seeing some character development on her, you know? Like, she's actually finally having to, like, protect somebody. And, like, she's willing to do anything for the little girl to make sure she's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys that they end up in the place where they found the food and all that. These guys were criminal criminals too. They were planning to sell the little girl. And, you know, if she's a virgin, they, you know, but still. I mean, she played pretty well. She played that really well to actually, you know, save and all that. That was, that was pretty cool from her. I was not expecting that at all. I actually thought for a while that maybe the career dude is going to come and actually save. Because he was already in my back of my head. Because, like, who else than him at this point? But I was surprised at the fact how well she actually handled handle herself. So that was kind of crazy, okay. And obviously our bro out there and all that, saving her. So it's kind of crazy like she actually decided to cut her hair and all that. It's, it was kind of funny when she actually went to buy, you know, some of those uh, takoyaki and all that. But like, you know, <laughs> having that S rank, you know, Akudama thing on her now. Like, she, she, I mean, hey, we got money, okay. We got plenty of money, but it's kind of sad we not able to use the money <laughs> you know we got billions of money but like you can't buy anything what's the point of having the money if you can't really get anything so that was kind of sad as soon as she actually tried to pay all that thing siren went off and we're in a run now so pretty much like all of us are in a run we i mean we already were except the girl obviously because now she's officially a ass rank akadama so that's kind of crazy so she's in a run you know with the little girl and all that so that was looking pretty crazy so we've actually like decided now to go back and rescue the kid i don't know this mission is looking pretty crazy and the doc and the bro is also on their way to the kid so it seems like we're actually gonna meet up together again so i'm mean, just sad we you know our bro he he's not with us anymore but that's you know putting that aside you know so it seems like we actually are gonna end up in the same place and I, I what i was surprised about is career dude actually taking the job from her you know so like i actually thought like maybe he's not gonna do it because his job was done the kid told him to like hand over the pouch the thing from 
is brothers and siblings to the little sister, right? And I thought like after that he's gonna be done, but like cause you know how he is, he's like until the job's done, he's gonna do it. Once the job's done, he's done, right? But like I was surprised at the fact he said, okay, let's go. So we're teaming up, going back to the kids. So what we found out was like they're not the kids not ready with the executioner, right? When the doc said to look at the map and all that, but it was something else. So I'm not really sure. Maybe we might be actually to pull it up, but we all know that the executioners are on our ends now. So yeah, this is looking pretty crazy to be honest with you. I'm actually am liking Akudama story wise and everything wise. This is really cool to be honest with you. But I hope you guys did like this more reaction guys. If you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I wanna see you in slow motion. Come stay the night, we can stay up till it's bright In the morning, got the top open